I told you what to do, ban them for life. My thing would be, fail, fail for steroids, officially you've took steroids, you've injected needles, ban them for life. Ban them for life. No ifs or buts, you fail for performance enhancing drugs, you're banned for life. It seems to be people saying to you, and, and this is also towards and Eddie Hearn as well, that it's one, it seems to be one rule for one and one it. rule for another. If anybody fails a drug test, for performance enhancing drugs, they've been injecting steroids, ban them for life. I don't care who it is. I don't want to go on about Billy Joe, it's, I just feel for him. I know I know the kind of person Billy Joe is. He's a good lad, he's one of the boys. And let me tell you, mate, cheating just wouldn't be in his yet. It's just, it's just wrong, mate. He's been given something and it's wrong. It's wrong. And he must be furious as well. He must be furious because you're tarnishing the lad's name and it's just not him. It's just not him. Tony should suck a dick for that. There you go. Fuck Tony Bailey then. boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big P here. Yeah? You know, don't you? You know. That's why you've tuned in. It's where the channel that tells it straight. We don't beat about the bush like other low life channels, do we? We just tell it straight and we're not bothered what people think. If you're bothered about what people think in boxing industry, you're in the wrong game. So that reminds me, I need to get some videos done. I've only done 17 this month, is it? I don't know, you'll have to tell me. Up until Eddie Earn Roast, I don't think it will want a day, will it? So I've got to eat some targets before the end of the month. Otherwise I'll be on Skid Row like Frank Warren or Brick Top. So, I'm trying to think now, I've got a, I had a heavy one last night, I don't even know where I am. It warms us. I went to Cecil Car Park, I couldn't even find my car. I'm in the middle of Cecil Car Park, I'm lucky it's still not, still running and not on bricks. The only problem with these cars are too low. Go through it. Uh, I don't really know where to start to be honest. Uh, my pal up at Factory, my business partner, says, Oh, have you seen this on BBC? The Joshua get hundred grand to uh, some charity, England Boxing or something. Stuff like that, when you earn it money is, it's tax deductible, so it, not gain, not gain anything, not gain your note. You know, it's... Uh, fucking well, I must admit, these days. Not gain your note. Fuck, he's got his sheepskin on, he looks a dick! And his sheepskin hat! Bomber jacket, whatever it is, hat! He can't even fly a kite, he might fly a bomber plane! Is it B-52 bomber or Lancaster bomber? Lancaster bomber, British! British is best! That's why I used to drive a Rover back in the day, when I were on Skid Row. Uh, now, listen! They're making all this noise, aren't they, about... They're making all this noise about... 
Joshua fighting Fury and all that. Have you seen the obstacles? You've got Joshua talking, all roads lead to Undisputed, and you've got Ed, Ed, Eduardo talking about we're going to bint belts. So if that isn't a conflict of interest, I don't know what, what is, but what they are doing is... Doing here that time of morning. I'd like to know what's going on. What they're doing is they've got the stories correct, aren't they? They're playing everybody. It's all about playing to the crowd. Life is a stage Shakespeare once said, but Barry Earn also said it as well, didn't it? So they're playing to the crowd. Everybody knows that if Joshua fights Fury, it's two fights, two good hidings for Joshua because he's a big dosser. He's a big dosser with limited skills and manufactured fighter. That's the bottom line. People who say, Porky, you're hating on him. You're hating on Dylan White as well, Porky. Well, I'm going to address the Dylan White situation in a minute. He's another shit out. Right, who's not loyal? Joshua, tell me Anthony Joshua's best free wins. Right, Vladimir Klitschko. 18 month on SETI. For all you newbies, 18 month on SETI. Let me just say that again. Not 18 days, 18 moon. Alright. 18 days in boxing if you make a piggy, you said, and don't train, your career can be over. So imagine being sat on say, SETI 18 month. And don't give me all that that Vladimir's were training all that time. He weren't. He was fat as a pig, Michelin man. Now he's got one of them metabolism, he's always going to be in good shape isn't he, but he's not going to be match fit. 18 month fight at games a long time, you need warm up fights don't you? you know, we all heard what Tyson Fury was saying when he come back. He was fighting Dossers and he knew that. And he went life and death with a Dosser, Otto Wallin. Who you'd probably say is a, a, not, not a Dosser but a C class fighter, life and death because he weren't himself for it. So Vladimir had a game 18 months coming off of schooling by Fury, he's not going to be himself, is he? And that were life and death. Life and death. Let me get through here. We don't mess about with them amber lights. The point I want to make is, who's his second best win? Who's his second best win? Joseph Parker in a stinker where referee went man at match. Do you know what I mean? <coughs> Joseph Parker is the Howard Webb of boxing. You won't pay to watch him, would you? He's no good. Joseph Parker, come on, is that what life's about? Joseph Parker being your second best win. His third best win, you'd have to say it'd be Pavetkin, wouldn't it? In his 39th year, Pula in his 40th year, probably his fifth best win. You know. Where's these elite guys he's chasing down? Where where are they? If Tyson Fury doesn't get the opportunity to fight Big Dos Femi this year, this this coming year, 2021, what what we all what sort of sport are we all following? I mean Eddie Hearn's come out, hasn't he? And he's said, I'm hoping the governing bodies are, are they gonna let these fights happen. Because if not, boxing needs to take a good hard look at himself. This is words from Eddie Hearn. The man who had his old man sat in a sauna with Lee Purdy. The man who keeps getting exemptions for mandatories for his fighters. Because Joshua's such a big draw, he can just get exemptions when he wants. And there's that unfinished matter about the TUIs there. Uh, whatever they call it. Therapeutic exempt certificate, is it TUC or something? That the rumours doing the rounds that Joshua had, a, had, a, had, a, had one of them, a certificate giving him for some sort of performance enhancing drug or steroid or something. Don't quote me on that. We're not saying he's a drug cheat. What we are saying is that there's a very strong rumour doing it round that they were given a T TEC, is it or something? However it's called, you'd have to go on Terry Chapman Dharma's podcast, the Beautiful Boxing Podcast. And, and listen to some of them episodes regarding uh, 
cheating and, and, and all that and therapeutic exemptions and all this load of crap. It's just cheating and doctors in people's back pockets. If it is happening. But I've got some stuff I wrote down here because I've got a short I've got a short term memory loss. Do you know I left my wallet yesterday? On top of my car, hang on a minute. I can't do too many things when I'm driving. I wait till I pull up. We're thinking about health and safety today. I'm gonna pull up in a minute. Pull the porky sheet of paper out of my pocket and let rip! Let rip for all you diehards! Because we're gonna let rip this week! I am on it! I always feel like this when I put a new pair of trainers on. I just bought some trainers, two pairs. Not like buying trainers, but I always seem to buy white. And then I get a 10 pair of Lacoste sent me that I'm gonna give away. We're gonna give them away in no year. Ten pair. Obviously, gotta give them away, Anna, so. But it is what it is. I got some for myself as well. So things are looking alright. Things are looking better than they were. But I just feel like I need to let rip this morning. I'm gonna rip shit up. I'm gonna rip it. Hang on a minute, let's rip it. Let's rip stuff, let's rip it up. We can't. We're gonna rip it, rip shit up. We're not bothered about copyright. We don't get paid for no anyway, we fucking swear that much. One, two, bring it to the boat. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the dope. Ready to make an entrance, so back on up. Cause you know we're gonna rip shit up. Give it a it's like a bubble. Hopping in Long Beach together, now you know you're Good in trouble. trouble. Ain't nothing but a cheap thing, baby. baby. Two more death makers so we're crazy. crazy. Death row is the label that pays me. No, I just feel that, you know, boxing needs to, it does need to take a good look at itself. Eddie Earn's right, but he can't come out with stuff like that. I mean, he's going on about drug when, when people die in the sport, Patrick Day died, didn't he? God rest his soul, Rudy Bella's man. And that stuff like that really, really bothers me, right? He died on a, on a, on a Sunday, Saturday, Sunday night, then it's Sunday early hours or something. We've got Eddie Hearn on Tuesday, making fights between Dylan White and Pavekin, what it? What is all that about? Or in discussions with known drug cheats. I mean, come on. How many days is it now since Dylan White's B sample went for a Burton? How many days is that? So Eddie Hearn, don't start coming out with all that. Boxing needs to take a long hard look at it if this fight doesn't happen because it's sanctioning bodies and all that. Look, Eddie, if Joshua fights Fury twice, Joshua will get flogged. If he's gonna get flogged, why would he want to part with something like two million quid in sanctioning fees? Why would they want to part with that between them, him and Fury? When, when, I don't think Fury would be that bothered, but I think, I think he's more about the belts, isn't he? But Joshua's more money motivated. I don't know. Who's to say that both parties know that these fighters are not gonna fight again and they're just saying, do you know what? The fans know it's undisputed for who's best. So let's stick it to him. Why should we give our hard-earned lolly to sanctioning bodies? And the sanctioning bodies, they're in a dilemma, aren't they? Do you know why? Fucking greed. Greed. Pure greed. Let me pull up in here and leave to that rip. Oh shit, it's got a fence across the bottom. Can't even pull up anywhere safe. Oh, I know. I know where we're going. I've got to go to Chemist anyway. We'll park up at Chemist in Rotherham. No, but the point I want to make is, it's pure greed on a massive scale. Massive scale, man. Pure greed. So these governing bodies, you know what they're going to try and do now? They're going to try and keep everybody sweet so they can have a slice of the cake of the big Saudi money and the big China money. Because they're going to fight, if they're going to fight and make it about no belts, it means it's about money. So don't be expecting this fight, if it does happen when crowds are allowed back, to happen in 2021. Because they want every single penny they can get. 
they don't want to pay any sanctioning fees. Do you think Eddie Earner was probably going to clear? Eddie Earn is probably going to clear out of them two fives. 20 million, we hope commercial. So do you think Eddie Earn wants to give, I don't know, half a million of his money, of his slice of cake, or a million, to all them sanctioning bodies? Of course he ain't going to want to do that, is he? He's not going to want to do that. You know what I mean? It, it's not going to happen. So there might not be any belts, but who cares anyway? Riddick Bow and Holyfield fought and there were no belts, didn't they? I'm sure they did in one of their fights. I'm in the wrong lane here. Shit. Oh boy, race up. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it! We know a song about that, don't we, Eddie? Evening, Eddie. But now I just feel that. Fans are being short-changed, in my opinion. Short-changed on a massive scale. It's shocking, the short-changedness of it. It's really, really shocking. Really, really, really shocking. Let me get my medication. Get my medication from here. So if I don't, I might end up doing crap videos. <laughs> Where am I here? I lost coming around here. Yeah, I need to get something for my throat from here. Throat spray or something. I had some throat spray, I get it Cobra. Couldn't find it. Saved him buying some. Isn't that right Cobra lad? Have you still got it? I could do with that today. Hope you well Cobra. And the renovator! Lee Frotch, the renovator. Right. right I'm gonna have to turn this off now, two seconds. Alright, I'll be back. Gonna bet you have to find a kind of septic. You never know she could be earning her man and learning her man. And at the same time burning her man. Now you know I ain't with that shit, Lieutenant. Ain't no pussy good enough to give her while I'm a fan. And that's relevant, real deal, holy fit. Oh, I'm gonna get that list out, won't I? Right, get this list out here. Let's have a look what we've got on here. He's Bean, aka Adam Smith, now Roy Cropper of uh, boxing. I don't know whether to change his name from Bean to Roy Cropper. I don't know. Cropper! Does Cropper sound. He's alright. For a blonde. Does Cropper sound seedy enough for Bean? I don't know. I haven't decided on that one. Canelo. Canelo and Eduardo. Have you noticed? Have you noticed how? Eduardo tiptoed into America giving all loads of respect to, uh, oh there's some underneath this uh, Have you noticed how Eduardo crept into uh, Watch what you're doing, mate! In your big 7 Series Volvo. Only thing missing is a kind of hang on hanging off at back. Jesus in the morning. Right. You know I'm dysfunctional, don't you, in the morning. But right, only thing missing with Eduardo is the fact that he's snuck into America and he's not been himself. He's like played them all, hasn't he? Oscar De La Hoya hung himself, but I've heard a little little story about Eddie sticking knifing on De La Hoya. Been doing it for ages. 
been coming out with stuff like he's off his head and, and, and cocaine and things like this. And Eddie, you can't tell me no about cocaine. I used to think it was the best thing since sliced bread. So I sat up for days on end thinking Dennis was going to come and kill me. True story. But, uh, so, you know, I'm going to have Richard Towers coming to my house in a minute for that last episode in that pub with Dennis. But now listen, you can't go around slagging somebody like Oscar De La Hoya, Eddie. Gold medalist, where is he, five time world champion in weights or something across the board. Massive pay per view star, multi millionaire, private jet. Achieved a lot more than Eddie Hearn's done. Eddie Hearn tells us he were called Eddie Hills and he were 4 0 super heavyweight amateur star from Billy Ricky Boxing Club, amateur. Free by way of. Now, it's no comparison compared to Oscar Deloy, but I've heard on the grapevine that Eddie's been slowly but surely sticking it to De La Hoya because Eddie likes control. He's got control at Sky. You want to go date at Sky, you've got to see Eddie Earn. He likes control at Sky. He didn't have it at the zone, and while ever Canelo were there, Eddie were always playing second best. Because Canelo's the guy that's going to take that channel off. Not Joshua. He's he's not going to last. Joshua's not going to last the pace. He's got an explosive style, and there's already doubts in size at puddle there, man. And there's already doubts in his makeup about how he applies himself. So he's not going to last the pace. So if they are pushing for the two Fury fights, he'll be done. Him. He'll just be. An, he'll end up another Dylan White. So old mouth. But you've got to give Dylan White a tiny, tiny bit of credit to get where he is. He must be a genius. He's not fought for a European title and he's in his sixth pay-per-view in his next fight. He's got a, va he's got a vacant British on, on mantelpiece that he got off Ian Lewinson. Pff, Ian Lewinson? Oh, no, man. Look what Joe Joyce did to him in his first couple of fights. So the point I want to make is that Eddie Hearn has been hovering around the Canelo situation for a long time and now we're seeing him at press conferences coming out with things like Canelo's, uh, I, 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 he's my boss, we, we do everything for him and all that and we're going to look after him properly and all that. These are all digs at Oscar De La Roya, so send this video to Oscar De La Roya on Twitter if you want, ask him what he thinks about it. Oscar De La Roya, I've got your back but I can't back a man who wears fishnet stockings. I can't back you that much when you're going around wearing high heels and suspenders and things like that Oscar to get your rocks off because you is not a real man. Real men don't do that. Could you imagine me going down to Mick Wales gym who's a real man, old Terry McCann. Could you imagine me going around to Mick Wales gym and Mick saying, Russ what's this here on social media? You've got suspenders on, heels, susp uh, uh, all rest at full kit. And you, you're saying it's been photoshopped, you've been off your head, drugged up, you're not a real man. So, do you know what I mean? It, it, won't, it, it, it won't go down too well, would it? So, Oscar De La Hoya, sort yourself out with what you're doing, mate. If I can sort myself out, and I want as bad as you, Oscar, anybody can. You're in early today, aren't you? Oh, indeed, mate. Yeah. One of my pals here from Eastwood Autos. If you want a car, you need to go to Eastwood Autos next door here. Yeah. I'm not going here, man, I've nearly crashed. No rest for you. He's ashing. Yeah, he don't roll in while dinner time, does he? Oh, no, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm filming now. Do you want to say hello? No. Who's you? No, why not? I don't. Have you got a favourite boxer? No. You haven't got a favourite boxer. Why not? Boxing. What are you into? Motorbikes. Motorbikes. What, what motorbikes do you like? Older than fast. Yeah. You pop wheelies and that. Yeah. Go on, lad, your yeah. wheel. Yeah. Not like boxing? Fucking hell, man. What's that? He's not getting a porky teddy this Christmas, is he, off me? Best of lads in there like boxing. Greatest sport in world boxing. In motorbikes. Now you've got to have big balls if you're getting on a motorbike, can't you? But no, point I want to make is that it's all worked out all nice, hasn't it, for Eddie Earn with Canelo, hasn't it? 
I think I do. You fucking prick. But uh, I don't know what to make of it all. Do I see it ending in tears? I don't know. But what we have to do, and I don't like to do this, we have to give Eddie Earn credit for the bullshit. We have to give him credit for that. And we have to give him credit for hanging in there 10 years nearly. Hanging in there at the top of his game, innit? He's had stepping stone fighters to get to where he's got to, pinnacle at sport. Josh here on one side, Canelo on other. He's the number one boy now. And Eddie, I don't fucking like you, mate. If I ever see you on my children's life, I will drench you in a drink and I don't give a fuck about them mongs that you have around you who work for Clifton Mitchell. Because if they ever saw me on the street, they wouldn't fucking act so tough, mate. They can act tough in arenas, but they are lanky streaks of piss and mongs. All right, that's what they are, them security that you've got with your old time, Eddie. The fuck all, mate. Fuck all. But it is what it is, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So stay close to security, Eddie. Next time you're in a show in Sheffield. So... But it is what it is. Let's have a look what other sh shite I've wrote down here. What a shite. It's just na knackers, isn't it? Have a look. Uh, Joshua and Ern, Canelo and Ern. It's like checkmate, isn't it, for Eddie now, isn't it? He's got everybody where he wants them. Another thing Eddie were going on about it. What it, uh, I can't explain it. The Fury situation. Listen, let me tell you this. I know a little bit about the situation. I'm not going to say how, but... That is in a legal dispute, so I don't know what Bob Arum's trying to do. And Eddie's there saying, well, Bob Arum's a lawyer and he's saying it's all sorted. It ain't sorted, Eddie, so stop spinning lies. you like Bob Arum, you're just a liar. Stop lying. Right, Anthony Joshua. Does Anthony Joshua beat Joe Joyce, Usek, Wilder, Yoka and Luis Ortiz? He didn't want to fight Luis Ortiz when they were matching him. Tony Yoka flogged Joe Joyce, didn't he, apparently? And Joyce used to flog Joshua. So he's not going to want to fight them two. Wilder ices him. They've already didn't take that fight. And Usek takes him to school. And it looks like now they could be trying to not fight Usek. So there's five guys there that Joshua won't want to fight before Fury. That could be why they're begging for Fury fight. I mean, I could have this wrong. I could have this wrong. They could take it to Saudi. And no British crowd there. I don't know. There could be mega offers on the table. I don't know, but... Is it Sheldon Anderson? I shouldn't say this, but I'm, I'm going to say it. Sheldon Anderson, the big Vegas casino magnet guy or whatever, tycoon. I've heard he's interested in putting a fight on in, in, in the Far East. Is it China out that way? With Joshua and, and, and Fury. So he could be a mix. Oh, 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 who cares? Well, I fucking care because I'm doing a video, aren't I? 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.30 in the morning. Uh so Joshua there, he don't beat Joyce, Usyk, Wilder, Yoko and Ortiz. Doesn't beat them. When I, if Andy Ruiz is beating you and you're going life and death for a few rounds with old man Povetkin and life and death with 42 year old Vladimir, you're not going to beat Cream at Cream are you? I think Joe Joyce flogs him and makes him quit. I do honestly, nobody will be queuing up to go near Joe Joyce will they? The jug and naught. Uh, we've spoke about Joshua's donation to charity. Well, look, wait, England boxing, look. Stop trying to score brownie points after your Black Lives Matter bullshit. You're getting it back on your tax, so stop it. Stop it. Uh, I don't know whether to stick Terry Chapandama's pod onto end of this video. No, I'm not going to do it because it's like pinching other people's material. So go and watch. The Beautiful Boxing Podcast, episode 11, about Canelo. Go and watch that and tell me what you think, because he nails it. But it's easy when you're behind camera, isn't it? Check on your notes. Uh, nah, I'm not bothering with that. Earn calling on boxing to have a good look. I itself, you know, if I had you and calling on boxing to have a good look at itself. Weapon at week, I'm not doing weapon at week no more. Uh, people are saying it's because I'm picking it, it's too personal. It's best just to continue doing helmets. 
uh, because that's voted by fans. So, bit gutted. Don't do many views anyway. What do I want a weapon a week for to get 80 pence? Because we're swearing it, don't we? So, God. swear the whole time I've got to write. Uh, I'm going to go through all these other things with Rico when I get Rico on next. So, hi right, mate. So I think that's about it really. I'm going to leave that in here for Rico. When I thought we're doing Rico, me and Rico are going to do a zoom, I think. Let me just put this on. I'm going to put this on, I think, for the cameras. Now where's my ears gone? Oh, I'll leave it on. So that's about it really. I don't really know what to say now. I suppose we're going to bring this video to an end. Uh, I don't know when this is going to go out actually because we've got uh, it has to go into a uh, it has to go into like a computer to go to somebody to jazz up, doesn't it? I could put it out now in two parts if I want, but nah, I'm not bothered. It's not about views, it's about quality in it and giving an opinion. We try to give an opinion here at Porky's Corner and add a bit of what's the word we try to add a bit of comedy to it and a bit of cheekiness so I'm cheeky aren't I but I don't know some, oh, somebody sent something to me this morning was it somebody sent me something Dave Allen's going to be pestering Eddie Earn to get Danny Morell on Sky well that's good if he can do that if he can use his influence but I think that he is my genius of the year Dave Allen because He's not got a belt out boxing and he's managing fighters, isn't that a good thing? I think that's a good thing. So he's a genius, but if you think that certain promoters in South Yorkshire are manipulative, Dave Allen makes them all look daft, doesn't he? After what he's achieved, he makes them look daft, doesn't he? He's a bigger star than Conor Ben and they're tipping him for pay per view, so. We have to get a balance, don't we? This is where I have a big argument with boxing. Boxing has to have a balance. But it is what it is, isn't it? So, I've got an interview today. 11 o'clock with Mickey Theo. An update with Mickey. So, I don't want to tread in these puddles in my new trainers. They don't wear as good trainers when you've had to buy them, do they? But they feel great on when they're free, don't they? I think that's about it. I'm sure there's something I forgot this morning. I'm sure there's something I forgot. God, I thought it was my phone then. Uh, so that's about it, really. Uh, Cam, I want you to stick the new intro onto this video. Uh, or I might send it to that other kid and get him to do it. Yeah, I think I might get him to do it. And uh, give him something to do. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Give you a break from Because I've been terrorising you lately, and I can. So you're going to have to up your game, kid. Now that we're mocking about with big big film crews. Big film crew people involved with Porky's Corner. Nah. I'm just trying to think. What boxer out there wants to call somebody out... And he wants me to turn up with a film crew and give him carte blanche. I'm trying to think what boxer. Could it be Tommy Frank calling out Sonny Edwards? No, because that boat, that ship sailed on it for them lot. Although, although Tommy's likeable, isn't he? But that ship sailed. It's, it, it, it's not an attractive fight now that after what's, what happened with Tommy, is it? Could it be Cash Alley? <laughs> I don't know, I'd like to do. I like Cash. His cousin here. He's a good pal, I like him. I don't know, it might be. But he's promoted by Den, isn't he? So that won't go down well, would it, with powers that be? So I don't know. I don't really know how I'm going to work it. I might have to be Josh Whale. Because you know where you stand with Josh Whale. I might have to do a Josh Whale special. I might have to take him down. Jamie, mate, we're going to do a Josh Whale special in New Year. I'll dig the old uh, bomber jacket up, 
fly over to uh, Brampton Brillo and we'll do a Josh Wales special. The Outlaw. The Outlaw Returns 2021. This is it. The This Is It Tour, we could call it, couldn't we? Something like that. So. Alright. Alright then. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Ugh. Oops, let me just put this here for a bracket. You know, you know. Well, we've got all the lights working, the clock working, Kev. We're all going to be ready for next year. Operation, Operation Spencer Fearon. Let me let me call you back. Uh, so that's about it, really. Not really much else to report. Uh, I hope everybody has a great Christmas. You know, all you trolls, keep your keep your stuff coming. Because while you're trolling me. Other people are reading it, you're leaving put some other poor truff alone. Keep it coming, keep watching channel. Keep watching and putting eight on and getting me them views up. Alright, so thanks to Troll, thanks to all proper hard boxing, hardcore boxing fans, thanks very much. I've had an heavy one last night, so I'm a bit all over the place this morning. I was staggering about like a hobo in the shower. Thanks to all them people that are back channel, thanks to the people who are sponsors and that, I mean, pff, the biggest one, I'll, you know, they, they pay for this, don't they, so this is brilliant for me, isn't it, getting office like this, so, I've got four run at place, haven't I, thanks to Chris Smedley, I want to give Chris Smedley a big shout out, because when I first started this channel, he was like, you can do it. But AJ Hobson, I'm going to get biggest shout out to because he was like, you've got to come out of your comfort zone, you could really do it. I said, I don't know if I could do it. He says, yeah, you have, you've got a bit of front and that, you're not, you're not bothered, you could do it. So thanks AJ because some really good things have happened in the last few months and I'm really over at moon. So thanks very much. It's, we've come a long way, haven't we, since uh, I started in, in Dennis's office then, and then doing most of them on a weekend in my shed so it's been a long 38 months 37 months sorry so that's about it really I'm gonna get a Mickey Theo interview done in a minute I've got some paperwork to do just shit and uh have a look I'm like a dick in this art Showed it to my kids and went, what do you reckon they went? It's not one of my good outfits, is it? 
you know, going for the old, uh, what's, what's it called now? Reach for the sky, is it Kenneth Moore? He plays that Douglas Bader from Sprockwood, doesn't he? He all crashed and lost his legs. He had a coat like this, didn't he? And went for it, crashed. I'm sure he did, anyway. But, so that's it. So, I'm off now. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Keep them questions coming in. And don't forget, we're going to be doing the big giveaway in New Year. Pair of cost trainers. Right? Ten pair. Size 7 to 12. Uh trying to think of questions though whoever whoever sends me answers in first correct answer via email this will be starting beginning at january you'll get them sent to, to your house just like them others got all the mugs sent so all right peace out I've told you what to do, ban them for life. My thing would be, fail, fail for steroids, officially you've took steroids, you've injected needles, ban them for life. Ban them for life. No ifs or buts, you fail for performance enhancing drugs, you're banned for life. It seems to be people saying to you, and this is also towards Eddie Hearn that. as well, that it's one. it seems to be one rule for one and one rule for another. If anybody fails a drug test, for performance enhancing drugs, they've been injecting steroids, ban them for life. I don't care who it is. I don't want to go on about the Billy Joe I just feel for him. I know I know the kind of person Billy Joe is. He's a good lad. He's one of the boys. And let me tell you, mate, cheating just wouldn't be in his yet. It's just it's just wrong, mate. He's been given something and it's wrong. It's wrong. And he must be furious as well. He must be furious because you're tarnishing the lad's name and it's just not him. It's just not in. Tony's just suck a dick for that. There you go. Fuck Tony Bellu then.